So a member of the community reached out recently and asked, Kevin, I'm investing in my podcasting gear and I want to know, do the built-in microphones on the handheld recorders get good, clean audio for guests in my studio? You know I have the answers to that. What's up, Tubulars? Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, we are all about filmmaking, photography, post-production, gear, lifestyle, all the things that help you elevate your creative endeavors. So you should just think about joining the party, subscribe, and hang out with us. Now, today, I want to talk about the podcasting setup, the audio community out there that... Now, I'm following up on a video, and here's the thing. I love the community so much that I'm doing this video for a member of the community. James Rose specifically has been lit on this video over here and that video is about podcasting in your studio and then working with virtual co-hosts and guests via Skype or something equivalent. Now, to find the value, to get the information, not only is the video informative, but the community over there asking the questions and offering up answers, it is so helpful. And what I wanted to do is continue to help and answer specific questions. And James wanted to know, all right, Kevin, here's the deal. I want to invest in a handheld recorder, and I know that I need to invest in a microphone to go along with that. Now, in the situation here, he wants to use the dynamic microphone for himself, and then he thought about, okay, well, if I invest in a handheld recorder like the Zoom H4n, the Zoom H5, or like this one, the Zoom H6, can I use these microphones to get good, clean audio for my guests that are in the studio? Now, James also had a follow-up question. Can you still incorporate Skype into that? James, I'd already reached out to you, and brother, I will let you know, I've got another video coming out because there's a little bit of work involved and a few more steps, and I feel like it warrants another video. But back to the clean audio aspect of using the XY microphone on this Zoom H6, which has a 90 degree pattern up to 120 degree pattern. And then also included with the Zoom H6 is a mid side microphone setup that creates a cardioid pattern and that cardioid pattern can also be increased from the sides or decreased depending on your situation. Now, I do feel like these microphones are great for like one-on-one, -on -one, and if you're out in the field recording run and gun, these are wonderful setups. But you, if you are on a dynamic microphone for yourself and you have guests, especially multiple guests in your studio using something like this, what does your post-production look like? How clean is that audio? Is it even usable? So the scenario here is that I set it up so that I was interviewing my boys. Now we started with my oldest boy, Flynn, and he was just one-on-one -on -one with the XY microphone. And then we switched to the mid-side microphone. And then we brought in his little brother so then we could actually have that handheld between them and then they're sharing that audio feed, that signal. Now I created some scenarios that you may run into. See, I've podcasted for so many years and I have interviewed hundreds of people. So I know how to interview people and I know not to try to talk over people. But when you are in a room together and things are getting kind of crazy or whatever, or the energy and you interrupt or you talk over people, that's when the situations get a little trickier. So I created some scenarios. So don't necessarily focus so much on the dialogue that's happening. Just focus on what is happening in the audio. So headphones are definitely recommended. And then after that video, I'm going to take you into the workflow and show you that piece as well. All right. So I have my son Flynn on the show today. So we're doing this video um, for a community member out there. And right now you're on the XY, I'm on the ATR 2100, but I just want to, you know, thank you for being a participant. So welcome to the show. Oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> what what happened? So you're in the middle of your voice changing so that, uh, yeah. Yeah. So it goes deep and high. Um, so essentially what I want to do is just kind of, I want to talk into the ATR and then you will talk into the XY. So you had talked to me about, I don't know, good six months ago, maybe more about starting your own podcast. Is that still something that you think about doing? I mean, yeah, because I'm really passionate about like following football in the NFL and stuff. So I feel like if I can like spread my knowledge to the world would be pretty cool like a 14 year old boy like having all this knowledge about nfl and following it would be really nice right i i would agree 
So what do you think? Do you think you even have any time because you've got soccer, you've got baseball, you've got school? Is this something that you are really that passionate about to, to make even more sacrifices? I mean, yeah. So I think I'm going to have to do it like every weekend, maybe in like other nights mm-hmm. because I don't have homework on nights on weekends and stuff. I mean, I might sometimes, but I feel like that's like the most time I have during the week and weekends. All right, so who is your favorite NFL team? Yeah, well, my favorite NFL team is the Broncos by far, just because I live in Denver, and I guess it's my home team, and I like the orange and blue. Well, and if I were a better interviewer, I would have seen that you're wearing a Broncos shirt. So even though that we're doing audio here, I can still see you, so I would say that you are a Broncos fan. How long have you been a fan of the Broncos? I think it was the game, it was either 2012 or 2013, mm-hmm. where the Ravens and the Broncos were playing, and the Ravens, and the, it was at Mile High, it was right. the playoffs, and Ravens ended up beating the Broncos gotcha. to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um. So I think I came from Bron- Broncos then, then and started watching football. And you and football is all year round for you, really, because you're were you focusing on the trades, and obviously like the recruitment that occurs. So tell me a little bit about that. So, yeah, I'm definitely into the offseason because it definitely brings surprises on who's going to be traded or who's going to stay with their team. So definitely the biggest surprise right now is Antonio Brown going to the Raiders. That was interesting, but I kind of was expecting it because the Raiders needed a wide receiver um, when trading Amari Cooper this off, this, off, or this last season. Yeah. So, yeah, I, th- I think it's just more interesting. The draft's coming up. So there's a lot of – the combine just started or just recently ended right. like a week ago. So Okay. So basically um, we're doing this for James Rose who had reached out in the community and he wanted to hear some of these different setups. So I'm on this microphone and the both of you are now on an XY microphone. So kind of sharing that microphone. So we asked Flynn about some of his sports and the things that he's into – what about you? What what are you into? Like, what's your sport? My sport? Soccer? Yeah, and soccer. And baseball? I like baseball now. Yeah. I used to not like it, but I, I like it now. Yeah. Are there sports that you like to watch? Football, but I don't really like to play football. Yeah. just I don't, kinda... I don't watch football all the time because I don't really watch sports, but football yeah. is probably... The... How do you feel about that, Flynn? I don't really see him watch football all that much. Exactly. I just don't watch sports. I watch soccer sometimes on Saturdays, but not yeah. all. Okay, so he doesn't really watch sports. Okay. All right, so we're still on the XY mic here. And so we talked about what it's like for you guys to be brothers. Do you guys fight very much? Not really. Not often. I think we just like play um, wrestle sometimes. I, honestly, I have to say, like anytime people ask about you know having three boys, you guys do you guys fight all the time? Do you argue all the time? We don't. Really you know. don't. And and you're hearing it right. Like I didn't tell you to say that. No. Yeah, and people are kind of like surprised about it. Yeah. So now Flynn was actually telling me like what games he's into. So he was talking about Apex and Fortnite. Apex more so than Fortnite right now. So where where's kind of like your gaming interest as far as like prioritizing your gaming? Roblox. Roblox first. And well, not really Roblox first. Fortnite because, you know, it's fun, I guess. Yeah. A lot of people are playing it though, but so that means like stereotypical. But Roblox is second because it has like a lot of mini games in built mm-hmm. into the thing and you can make stuff. Right. So yeah, so you you do some gaming and of course mom and I are always talking to you guys about getting outside. So what do you do out there? So I have one friend that really likes to get outside mm-hmm. and he was like my friend from preschool. My other friend yeah that is friends with the the first friend from preschool. Uh, he likes to get outside with us too. He also likes to play soccer. All right. So now here's the thing too, like on a day where we have this bomb cyclone apparently, and for the listeners out there, uh, this is a kind of blizzard where the temperature drops really rapidly and it's very windy. And so the storm blew in like really, really fast. So it's probably, so I'm an only child. So what's it like, you know, you've got your brothers around. Of course, Declan is out playing 
with his friend. His friends? Yeah. So he's playing with his friends out in uh, in the snow and they're sledding. Although I don't know. Hopefully they didn't blow away. Are they actually sledding? <laughs> Uh, I think so. Yeah, he took his sled. Are they the, at the hill over there? Yeah, they're, they're at the hill. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, All they're right. at the hill. Well, they're devils. Yeah. But <laughs> oh, it must be kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Tell me about that. Like, that you always have somebody that's around that you can talk to, that you can hang out with and play with. I mean, so, yeah, it's, well, like, it's basically like a portable friend. <laughs> a portable friend. Oh, yeah, but you were going to say something. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm saying it's, like, it's kind of convenient because I, like, you actually, if you're bored and stuff, you can like ask your brother to hang out with you and do some stuff like play a board game, right? Play a game on Xbox, um, maybe go out and do something. But of course, it's a blizzard right now. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can go sledding. It just we have a lot. Of well, yeah, when the wind like died, uh, dies down. Right. Right. All right. So in the editor here, and yours may look different, but just kind of showing you that I'm on track one and Flynn is on track two. And ultimately, if you even have multiple guests, they're all still going to be on that track two or channel because using the XY or that mid side, they're all ending up into the same one. So what we're going to be doing is listening to that bleed when I'm talking and then they're not talking. So you can even hear and see the bleed happening. All right, so I have my son Flynn on the show today. So we're doing this video um, for a community member out there. And that is not fun. So what we need to do is highlight this and we need to cut that piece of the clip out. So then when we play it back, all right, so I have my son so Flynn on the show today. Better, so we're doing right? this video Sounds so um, much for better. a community member out there. Now, The issue also becomes, all right, so they weren't talking. I was the one that was talking. But what happens if I'm actually talking over them? What happens if I'm saying something and they're saying something at the same time? And you do have that bleed, as you heard in that interview that we had. So, you know, essentially what you're going to have to do is basically go through as much of the cuts as you can. So first and foremost, like what you're going to have to do is try to go through all of this and cut, continue to cut and keep cutting where let's say that I'm the one talking, they're not talking, and we're going to try to cut all that out. But again, those sections where I'm talking and they're talking at the same time, as long as things are synced up, generally speaking, without any advanced editing or um, filters that you can put in there, it'll be okay. But as you can tell, it does sound different. And what I would suggest, like if you're talking and they're talking and you want to isolate that specific section, you can add like limiters and noise gates. And maybe what I'll do is actually come up with a video describing limiters and noise gates so that any noise that could be coming from me across the way, like from three to four feet away, isn't picked up as much in that section. And what I did was I did clean that up as much as I could. But what I also wanted to express is the value of your time because I could spend hours trying to edit like, what was it, six to eight minutes of audio that we really did. That could have taken me quite a long time. You're starting to see where the advantage of having the dynamic microphones for each guest in the same space can be much more helpful because using these will isolate most of the sound into what I'm speaking directly in right now. And like, if I kind of move away, you can tell that that is not being picked up as much. All right. So I've got those recommendations. So if you have a dynamic microphone and you've got the built-in mics, if that's all your budget allows is if that is all you can do, I think it's okay. However, as you saw in that post-production and you think about a show that could go 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, trying to eliminate all of that extra noise, all of that extra bleed, I can tell you from experience, having multiple guests in the same room, using dynamic microphones like this is so much easier because even if there's a little bit of bleed, it's so much easier to get out because the XY microphone and the mid side microphones do pick up a lot of the ambient noise that's around the room. So time is currency, people. It is money. So what I would tell you is that if you are worried about spending a lot more time in your post-production, getting
getting that cleaner audio. I would say if there's a way, if you need to wait a little bit, if you need to try to figure out how to pinch some pennies and, and save a little bit to get yourself another dynamic microphone or at least a microphone, depending on how many guests and co-hosts you have, for each person, it's going to completely change your post-production, I promise you. Now, if you have any additional questions, concerns, comments, you know I'm going to be in the comments section. I love it in there. I do. So hang out in there. Let me know what's up. What questions do you have? And of course, as always, let's get out on this one. I want you to go do things that matter. You are warming my hearts out there. I love the community. I love what you're doing. I love seeing what you're doing because people are sharing on social and here on YouTube about what you're doing. I want to see more of that. Keep rocking faces and I will catch you back here or wherever you are on the next one.